We're going to show you how to rig a limber character. So I'm going to create a new composition. I'll call this character. And I'm going to do it 2048 by 2048 at 12 frames per second. And press OK. First thing I'm going to start out with, I'm going to draw the body of the character. So this will be the top part here. I'm going to do kind of a profile of the character. I'll profile as best as I can anyways. And that works. Okay. I'm going to rename this to body. Okay. And then I'm going to take the anchor point. I'm just going to put it at the bottom middle right here. I'm going to go into the limber panel here. I'm going to start with the arms. I'm going to have it tapered. I'm going to press new. Have it be the left arm. And then I'm going to just move the shoulder to where I think it would be a good spot for profile. So it'll be almost like a three quarter rear of the character here. I want the arms to be just a bit longer. I want it to reach the pelvic area here. With the IK goal selected here, I'll go into shape inside of the effects panel. And I'll increase the upper length. Let's try 240. And let's do the lower at 240. Let's see how that turns out. Just a little bit longer, let's do 250. And I think that'll suffice. Okay, I want to exaggerate the way the arm looks here, so I will make the start size just a little bit bigger. 130, and then I'll make the end size just a little bit bigger too. At 100. And I think that'll suffice. Now I'll select everything that's incorporated in the arm rig here. And I'll press duplicate. I'll call this right. I'll take the right shoulder here. I'll put it a little bit towards the back. And I'll take the right wrist. Move it over here. Okay. I'm going to take the right arm shape and just put it below the body. So it looks like that. And I think that works perfectly fine right there. Okay, now we're going to make the leg, and we'll have it tapered as well. I'm going to press new. We'll do left. Okay, I'm going to take this, put it down here at the bottom. Okay, it is counterclockwise to what I need it to be. So with the leg IK goal selected, I will go up to dynamics, and I'll change it to counterclockwise. I'll just go into the negative there. I like the size of the leg, but I don't like the way that it looks. So we'll go back into shape. I'll make the bottom part of the leg just a little bit bigger. Just to give it a little bit of an exaggeration. I'll bring this down a little bit. I'm going to turn on my guides. I'm going to pull it over by where the shoulder is so we can just line up the leg with the shoulder. There we go. I usually like to make the uh, feet square. There we go. Okay, let's duplicate the whole leg rig here instead of the limber panel. Duplicate. We'll call this right. Okay, I'm going to take the right leg hip, get another guide, line it up with the shoulder. Good enough. I'm just using the arrows to go across here. I'll get it right onto that guide. Okay, it looks good. And then I'll take the IK goal and move it over. Okay, it looks good. Okay, I'm going to take the right leg and put it underneath the body. Right leg shape, that is. And it looks like we got it. Okay, now let's make the head. I'm just going to do just a rounded rectangle for the head. Have it be a brand new shape. And I'll just split the difference between the shoulders, the shoulder uh, goals there. Change the color to something else. And that works. 
Okay, then let's change the anchor. We'll press Y, grab the anchor, and I'll put it right there, middle bottom. All right, and I'll just kind of line it up right there. Let's do some feet. I'll just draw some feet, brand new shapes. And we'll make them the same color as the end of the leg there. I'm going to put the anchor right there in the middle. I'm going to press Control or Command, Alt, and then Home. And it should bring it all into the middle, the, the anchor point. I'm going to duplicate the foot. I'll move it over here next to the other leg. I'm going to get rid of this stroke with the foot. Okay, with the leg shape selected and then the foot that you want to attach to the leg selected at the same time, I will go into the limber panel, go to rig and pose. I will remove this from the drop down menu. I want the uh, shape layer two on the lower art layer. Press OK. And it should turn this off. If I grab the IK goal for the left leg, you should see that the foot has been attached. I will do the same thing with the other foot here. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit so it's a little bit more aligned with the way that the leg is. Okay, select the, f the leg artwork and then the foot artwork. Go into the limber panel, rig and pose. Remove it from here. It's shape layer three. I'm going to put this to none on that drop down menu. Lower art layer. Shape layer three, we press OK. It should have turned it off there. And now we can move it. You could go back in there and you can change the way that the artwork looks on the leg. If you dive into, into the contents of that shape. So limb and then lower group. Oh, it's here, I promise. Shape layer two group right there. And there's the shape. So you could go in there and then change the way that the shape is on the foot after it's been rigged onto that, that artwork. Okay, last thing to do. We're going to go into Squirrel to see this. Squirrel is kind of like the outliner inside of Maya, so you can see how things are hierarchically rigged together or parented together. Okay, what I want to do is I want to grab the hip right hip, left hip, and then the right shoulder and left shoulder. Oh, you know what? We didn't name this head. Let's name this head real quick. Shape layer one, we'll name that head. Okay, we want to grab the head, right hip, left hip, right shoulder, left shoulder, and then we're gonna click and then drag and drop it into the body. Now all of it has been parented into the body. using, And as you can see that the IK goals here are not moving and that the, uh, the joints connected to the body are moving and rotating with the body. And that's it. That's how you do a really quick, simple rig and limber inside of After Effects.